Uh, let me sit down. I guess the camera looks pretty good. In World Series attitude, champagne bottle light. Nothing ever changes, so tonight is like tomorrow night. What is up, you guys? Million Dollar Dream here, back giving you yet another million dollar video. Um, I'm sorry I look kind of crusty right now. I probably sound a little strained, a little crusty. I kind of woke up a little too late for class, but I'm definitely it's it's, a, it's like a an on your time type of class, so I know I can do a lot of it at my house by myself. And the teachers don't really help me in the class anyways. I have to like self I have to like self self teach myself in order to learn stuff. So that's going on. I'm in the house by myself. I have a big topic I'm going to talk about. Big discussion. So please, I'm sorry if I look weird and crusty. I did not shower. I didn't wash my face. But I feel like I want to address this before I kind of let some valid points fly out of my head. And since all this is coming to my head at once, I feel like I should get out on video at one time. That's about the tragedy that happened yesterday, unfortunately, in Broward County or in Florida. We should talk about it. Parkland High School shooting. Shut up! Sorry, a lot of noise going outside. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I want to talk about that because, um, yes, unfortunately, school shootings do happen all the time. And unfortunately, there's not too many ways that we can stop it, to be honest. If you really break down thing about it, we could come up with a few, but for the most part, off the top of my head, I can't really think of much. Um, a lot of people, I wasn't really going to talk about this, but until I saw someone tweet something that was kind of disturbing online, and it was a video of the dead children on the floor after the shoot. Um, and I'm sitting here, and this girl tweets out and under the tweet, and she says, why would you post this online? And then I was, I added her too, and I was like, yo, to be honest, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Like, don't you think it's a little too early? I feel like you, sh you should show some respect for the family members. And then everyone was saying that, no, like this is something we need to see. We need to see what happens in these real life situations because this happens so much and I feel like we need to see it in order, in order to get people to change sides, which still didn't really make any sense to me. But what really bothered me is how many people agreed with that. Like, I feel like what people need to know how to separate is what is between showing people what they need to see than showing people stuff that's like, that's too much, that's too excessive. I feel like what is something that people need to see are like, for example, videos of, of people inside classrooms terrified, scared to scared out their hearts listening to the pounding gunshots that I could hear on the receiving side of the screen of my phone the vibrations of the gunshots like that's how loud and that's how serious it looked like it was I don't need to see dead kids on the floor and destroyed souls on the floor for me to get how serious it is I feel like I honestly feel like that's too much for me and then the girl applied back saying that she needs to see this in order so she can know how real it is so the title of the article 17 dead in a high school shooting that's not real enough for you like you need to see these dead kids on the floor I feel like I have to reverse it on her and say well what if that was your kid what well, well how would you feel if that was your kid that got taken away from you how would you feel would you feel the same way would you feel like you need to release this to the to the internet so everyone can see it like why like that's someone's kid like what makes you feel like that's okay like i said i feel like someone posting videos of the terror that happened in the school that yeah that's 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 showing people that's giving people like shit that yeah this shit is real this shit is serious that's letting people know but seeing dead kids on the floor like that's not something that's not something people want to see um then again you i was thinking well you can i can understand because you can make that same argument with like black lives Ma black lives matter if, if a cop was to shoot down shoot down um an innocent african-american or, or innocent hispanic american male or female you can say the same thing for that but where those two are different is that the cop is doing the action he's doing the action so we need to see the video so we could see if that cop went too far or if that cop did what was necessary under the guidelines or the code lines of being of being in the police force compared to uh, someone shooting up a whole school that's not him shooting up the school that's, that's not him doing it at the moment that's Already after the fact, dead kid on the floor. Then they were saying that, then people were saying that they that they need to see it for evidence. But the thing is that why do you need to see it for evidence? I mean, I don't know, dude. Like, it, it, it just gets really dicey. And there's a lot of different things that, that can go on. I just know it was a kid named Nicholas Cruz. This was a kid that was expelled from high school, from his high school. This is a kid that legally bought an AR-15 to school to shoot the whole entire school. And then you're going to have people that say, well, we need to take away gun laws. We, we, we can't make guns so accessible for people, but we need it to protect us. I've been in a situation before when I feel like, yo, I need to have a gun. And I still feel like that, that I need to 
be legally registered to get to have a gun so I can legally carry, like open carry, like not close, because anyone can carry a gun. But to conceal, like to carry it hidden, like I feel like I need to do that. Why? Because people are stupid. You need to protect yourself. People feel like they want to do crazy things because they get inspired by dumb, stupid music or dumb, crazy people and they don't, they can't really take a difference between real life and, and imaginary life. And that's, that's unfortunate, but this is, this is the world that we live in. We, and we can't keep blaming it on guns. In my opinion, I think that the people, the, the what, what is wrong here are the people that are getting their hands on these guns. These are people that need to go through several tests to make sure they're mentally stable enough to even carry a gun. Um, yes, it could be free, but I still feel like you should still go through the test of seeing if you're mentally stable enough. You could say the same thing for cars. People, so many people die of junk, of junk driving every year. Are you going to ban all the cars, take away all the cars because the cars are already killing people? No, the people behind the car, they're the ones that are killing people. So I feel like with the guns, it's not the guns, it's the people that are behind it, the people that are shooting the trigger. Unfortunately, I mean, stuff like this is going to continue to happen. It just sucks. I, my prayers and, and everything, um, my thoughts and prayers are for all the families um, that have lost someone and even the friends that were connected to people that were connected to those people, like everyone that has been affected. Um, big prayers out to you guys. Stay strong. I've never lost anyone due to a school shooting, but I definitely lost friends growing up, um, suicides and, and homicides and stuff like that. Family members too. I don't know. I feel like what people were saying on Twitter, saying that they felt comfortable with seeing dead bodies on the floor of people's children on the floor, lifeless, cold bodies. To me, that just doesn't, I, I don't know how you can feel comfortable because if that, if that, if that was me, I would come back as a ghost and smack the hell out of you. Because what would make you feel like, would you honestly say, you know what, what my son just got his gut stabbed out of him by a 7-Eleven and I caught this on video after the fact of him dead on the floor. So let me post it online so I can spread awareness of homicides in the United States. <laughs> Why do you think Logan Paul got that video erased from him from, from YouTube for posting that suicide? Because it's a dead body. It's a kid. It's a child. It's a dead body. Like... You don't, you don't feel this. I feel like if you'll be pissed off at Logan Paul for doing what he did, but you're basically doing the same thing, if not with so many other kids. And people are going to say, well, this is a sensitive topic. This is suicide. Well, this is mass murder. This is a sensitive topic, too. This is gun control. This is a sensitive topic, too, when it comes to the United States. So you could say it goes for both ways. Why do people want to see a bunch of dead kids on the floor? I feel like you should have a little respect for the people. Thankfully, the, the, the girl deleted the, the video. But still, you have some respect for the people that have lost those loved ones in this strategy um instead if you want to spread awareness post pictures post videos of what happened with the gunshots in the school the kids terrified not dead bodies on the floor and there was like a lot of dead bodies on the floor it's me that's just insane and then i then the one thing i hate the one thing i can't freaking stand are the people that literally tweet shit just so they can get favorites and retweets and when i check those profiles it always says rapper model such and such and bio come on man like you're really using this for your own leverage and then this girl literally retweeted that tweet that she did so she can get more favorites and retweets luckily i'm happy it didn't take off because obviously you're doing i think maybe that's just me but people people like that they just seem to be doing it for attention they're not doing it because they really mean that from the heart anyways my prayers are out to you to everyone that was lost and the families that lost people in such an unfortunate event. Um, well, you guys know where to find me, social media in the end card and um, down below. Peace up, positive like always, man. Uh, Mr. Million Dollar Dreams, sign off for yet another million dollar video. If you aren't following dreams, what are you doing? I'm out. I said, tell me what's really going on. Drizzy back up in this thing, I'm ready. What's happening? Gone for surgery, but now I'm back again. I'm about my paper like a motherfucking scratch and win.